You're about to see Haiti like never before. You're about to see my first time going to Port-au-Prince, Haiti in 2023. And trust me, what you're about to see is not what you may expect. There has been a lot of motion, let's call it, in Haiti. Therefore, the ticket prices to go from Richmond, Virginia to Port-au-Prince, Haiti direct who was out of the question. So, my Haitian husband and I made the executive and financially beneficial decision to fly from Virginia to Florida and then from Florida to Haiti. There's not a ton of flights going to and from Haiti, so we had to get in where we fit in. Leaving super early in the morning was literally our only option. After less than 24 hours in Florida and running off of pure adrenaline and excitement, we hopped right back on a flight and before we knew it, we were peering out the windows of the plane, looking down on the mountains, blue water, and greenery of Haiti. Soon as we landed, we were greeted with a band ensemble welcoming us to Haiti. All non-Haitian citizens have what's called a tourist fee, which is equivalent to about $10 US. Yeah, they got me, child, and my coins. But that's okay, because once I was paid up, we were off. Let me fill you in. One thing I heard about, but didn't really digest until I was actually face-to-face -face with it in Haiti, was the amount of people that will literally jump to help you. But don't forget the tip, honey. Haitians stay on their grind and I can't knock the hustle. When I say I'm obsessed with Haitian mamba and cassab, I am. But between the heat and the full belly got me knocked out. But the next day, I was up and ready to explore. I'm vegan and my husband let me know how expensive imported food can be. So we brought some of my vegan meat products and his mom turned it into gold. This trip means so much because after four years of being together, I finally was able to see all the stories he told me come to life before my eyes. The streets are filled with people walking and street vendors and tap taps, which is one means of public transportation in Haiti. I do wanna say, and my man, thank you to my man because he booked us for the rest of this day to be at the Caribi Hotel. He's always wanted to be a tourist in his own country and this was his chance. I was hype and everything was a first. We found these dope rope swings. It was only right that I hop on, which all that swinging made me super hungry. Therefore, we went to a local restaurant and all I kept talking about was how much I wanted to try Accra and they did not disappoint. He ordered free tide, which also had pickles, plantains, and griot, and some chicken wings. I wouldn't exactly use morning person to describe me, but for a sunrise over the island of mountains, I will be up and in awe. There's one thing about me on a trip, <laughs> I'ma eat. Therefore, we headed to breakfast. Though I'm literally from New Orleans where the sun has literally no chill, this American lathered herself with sunscreen because Haiti's heat is like no other. And we were off to the mountains. The goal to see some of the best views Port-au-Prince has to offer started now. Oh, another thing, yesterday's price is not today's price. I really wanted to try this Haitian sorbet we got from a grocery store and it was 2,208 goods. It was good, but not 15 US dollars good. Okay, it was, but I still was not expecting that price. We ate at the observatory overlooking Port-au-Prince and I'm back at it again with the Accra craze, y'all, and the fresh papaya juice. It was like we had booked out the whole restaurant. I felt safe and could not believe how far up we came. It's crazy how you can be on one side of the mountain one minute and you start driving and boom, you're all the way on the other side. When it comes to driving in Haiti, please let the person that is ready for Fast and Furious take the lead because between the motorcycles, the motor vehicles and the trucks, you need to be able to bob and weave. The journey led us to Fort Jacques. Ooh, look at me speaking a little Creole. You see those antenna? That's uh -huh. where we just had the uh -huh. beer and then stuff like Whoa. that. Yeah, that's where we were at. No, we no. We, we made to right, then we made to right. Two of the guides walked us through the history of the fort Check and its me. purpose. Mouin, Palais, Ticrio. But thank the Lord for my husband because he translated most of historical facts. So this is a chart. 
One thing I will say is we still wanted to see more on this side of the mountain. So we made our way down. And when I say make sure your car is ready, make sure your car is ready because the road is a little bumpy. Look bump. at that. There's a cow here. There's a cow? Oh, look at him. Look at that. But we made it to Thomas Saint. I hope I said that right. He knows how to say it better than me, but Where you we know, at, we're learning. We're in the top of the mountain of Haiti, oui. aka Thomas Saint. Oui. See, you know? I told you, flawless delivery. Thomas Saint. Love the way he says that. I was determined to get my photo op off the side of this mountain because it was gorgeous. It looked like a photo out of like National Geographic. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> Do you see the face? in the rock that's one thing about haiti there is artwork craftsmanship pottery metalwork all over this island and the artistic expression is literally everywhere see right there on the side of the walls paintings and everything one thing is that was a little bit difficult for me was always finding different varieties of food as a vegan but this restaurant hooked it up with this quinoa salad it prepared us but a club, y'all. Well, it was more like a rooftop lounge, but it was popping. DJ was on point. They had fire in the middle, making sure that the photos were popping in every angle. You see my dress? I was glistening for the gods. But like they say, if you can sing in the club on Saturday, you better be up and ready to praise on a Sunday. <laughs> church had us feeling good our spirits were fulfilled and my husband was in a walk down memory lane mood and i don't blame him it had been four years of as you may have seen a lot of political unrest and a lot of things going down in haiti so when we got to do it we did it so we went to visit his high school slash middle school and yeah, as you can see, there was a tree with people's names carved into it. And of course, this American had to partake. <laughs> Every little step I make will be together. It was only right that I sing a classic for this legendary moment. I was very hungry, so we headed back to the hotel before we went swimming. The pool at Caribbean Hotel was amazing. As soon as you got in, the water was perfect. There was a bar in the pool, which was the perfect vibe for a relaxing evening. From pool to co-pilot, my husband wanted to fly his drone to get a great captured shot of his beautiful island of Haiti. This was the absolute definition of fly by fate, not by sight, because we were using the phone to shoot underwater clips and whatnot, and when he connected it to the drone to fly, it would not give him video coverage for the majority of the flight. So he was literally navigating by instinct. Amazing. It's crazy how quickly time passes because it's the last day in Haiti. Bye. So many, so many good times. We out It's that time. We have the key. I had to make sure that I take it all in as we were doing our final walkthrough. We had seen this beautiful fish pond for the past three days and we were determined to get a picture with the fish. That was a must. After checking out, the countdown began in a race to see both family, say goodbye to the parents, making sure we got a good final meal in and making sure that we arrived to the airport was our mission. The grand question, did we make it in time? Oh yeah, like I said, the sun does not come to play. So make sure you don't forget the sunglasses, the sunscreen, hats, all that, child. Okay, that's what happens when you Oh. No. You gotta wait, bro. You gotta wait. So at this point, I'm pretty much a local. So I'm feeling the ride. I enjoy seeing my fellow locals walking by. And then I see the goats, baby goats, big goats, little goats, lazy goats, all kind of goats. The moment I was not looking forward to, the final goodbyes and the final meal. And then we zoomed to the airport. But oh no, there was a little bit of traffic. Oh my God, will we make it in time? And with a little time to spare, we made it at our gate. I did the TikTok thing where I put my overweight clothes into my pillow and it worked. We are on the plane headed back to the US of A. The final takeoff. So like I said, you may have heard a lot of things about Haiti. 
But the biggest takeaway is Haiti is such a beautiful country with some of the strongest people. This country is bigger than what they're going through. And the light that should equally be shown is their power, their strength, and their tenacity and the culture of resilience. Till next time, Haiti. Bye.